Hi everyone, I hope you're well. My name's Kirsty, and today we're gonna to be looking at another plant oil, one that I don't hear so many people talk about, and that's Tamanu oil. Now, we're gonna be looking at the features and benefits of Tamanu oil, as well as some of the ways that you can use it. Tamanu oil comes from the nut of the Tamanu plant, which originates in Polynesia. Now, like many other plant oils, Tamanu oil has been used for many years in folk medicine, and along with being used for its cosmetic purposes. In fact, due to the plant's Latin name, Tamanu oil is sometimes referred to as beauty leaf oil. Tamanu oil is rich in fatty acids with high levels of oleic and linoleic acid, along with palmitic and stearic acid. It also has antibacterial, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory properties. Now there's also a lot of amazing claims around Tamanu oil, and there have been some studies on the oil of which I will try to link as many as I can in the description box, but there probably does need to be a few more studies conducted to support some of the more out there claims. Tamano oil is quite distinctive in colour as in its unrefined form it's like a deep bluey green colour and it also has a very distinctive smell. Now some people describe this as smelling a bit like chocolate, some people say it smells really rich and nutty, uh, some people feel that it smells like curry and some people just say that it smells like pond water. I personally don't mind the smell but with that in mind um, it is very much a Marmite product you're either going to really enjoy it or potentially really dislike like it. So how can you use Tamanu oil? Well, we'll start with the hair. You can, like other oils, use it as a deep hair conditioning treatment. Uh, obviously, put some oil in your hand, work it through the hair, and it really hydrates and nourishes without weighing the hair down. I've tried this myself, it works really well, but it's worth pointing out that the smell of the oil does kind of linger a little bit, even after washing out properly. So if you don't like the smell, probably not something you want to try. Now, there's also been some anecdotal evidence that you can use this to um, aid dandruff. Uh, now, I couldn't find any studies that kind of supported this, but if you are suffering with dandruff and you've got some oil, it could be worth a try. Like other plant oils, you can also use Tamanu oil as a moisturizer or as part of your skincare routine. Now, it does feel very rich and moisturizing on the skin, and it's much heavier than, say, things like argan oil, so I think that Tamanu oil fits a little bit better into, say, a nighttime routine. Now, if you are going to use it as part of your routine, I recommend giving time to let it sink into the skin. It takes a little bit longer than some of the lighter oils, and I have found that if you jump straight into bed after applying it can and it's not sunk in yet it can transfer and uh, mark uh, you know because of the color it can mark white bed linen in particular there's also some evidence that tamanu oil could be helpful for those with acne now it is slightly more comedogenic than some other oils because it has high levels of oleic acid however in a 2015 study tamanu oil showed high levels of antibacterial activity against the strains of bacteria involved in acne it could also be helpful if if you have inflamed acne due to its anti-inflammatory properties. Some people also swear by tamanu oil as an anti-wrinkle treatment. Now it is rich in fatty acids which can help to soften and moisturize the skin, but some studies also point towards tamanu oil being helpful in increasing collagen production and cell proliferation. Another study also showed that tamanu oil seems to be able to absorb UV light, so it could be helpful in preventing wrinkles caused by sun damage. I've also read a lot of anecdotal evidence that tamanu oil can be helpful in fading scars. Now, I couldn't find any studies that were so focused solely on fading old scar tissue, but it does have a lot of properties that mean it could be helpful, um, things like it can increase wound healing and also boost collagen production. Okay, so that is it. That is some of the ways that I use Tamanu oil. Now, if you use Tamanu oil and you use it in other ways, then of course share that in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. You might notice that I don't really tend to use Tamanu oil on the body. That's probably down to its fragrance, although I don't mind it. Not everybody loves it. I don't necessarily want to be smelling of it all over because I might repel some people, uh, and obviously I don't want to do that. If you're wondering what oil I use, I tend to use oils from a company called Face Theory. I purchased this oil myself, but in the interest of transparency, I just want to let you know that I have since worked with them and received products as a gift, but this video is in no way sponsored. Um, I will pop Face Theory's details in the description box below, but if you are looking for tamanu oil or plant oils in general, if you look for organic, cold-pressed, unrefined, you can't go far wrong. Um, but that is it from me today, um, and thank you so much for watching 
watching as always, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye now. Mwah.